Hey guys, the most beautiful thing in life is a scenery that you can never forget. It's a scenery that once you look at it, you're mind blown. It's like you cannot even describe the feeling. You cannot even describe just what's happening. It's like the best drug in the world. To look at a beautiful scenery of the beach or whatever it is. Something so beautiful that once you lay upon your eyes on the horizon of what's going on in front of you and it hits you that you are traveling, that your dreams are coming true and that you are on top of the world in a different state or a different country is the best feeling in the world and there's nothing better than that. Hey guys, I was thinking the other day what to do in life and the only thing that you can do in life is work. Now many people go to work unhappy because they haven't found the necessary job or passion that they actually want to live out. Now many of you guys have passions but you are looking in the wrong places. You have to be able to look more in the direction of your interests. What are you interested in? What are you good at? Is it design? Is it positivity? Is it motivation? Is it discipline? Is it bodybuilding? Is it nutrition? There are many subjects and topics out there. Is it mathematics? Is it English? Is it literature? Is it writing? Is it podcast? Is it video? Let the world know your story. Guys, the only thing that matters in life is making sure that you are winning. Now listen, make sure that you are doing everything in your ability to move forward. What are you going to do without loving yourself? What are you going to do without not doing the best you can? Nothing in life is worth it if you are not doing the best you can. You have to be able to push past limiting beliefs. You have to be able to live in your feelings. You have to be able to sacrifice. Sacrifice for travel. Sacrifice for adventure. Sacrifice so you have more money. So you can travel around. So you can be happier. Okay? Money cannot buy happiness, but it can certainly add to happiness. Guys, the only thing that matters in life is you. Alright? That's the only thing. Now listen, if you take care of yourself, everything is going to take care of you in life. But if you are being poor with your habits and you are not doing your best to improve your life, then guess what? Guess what's going to happen? You are not going to succeed as much as you want to. So obviously I want you to succeed. But the best way to make a fortune in life, the best way to make something of yourself in life is to improve yourself. How do you improve yourself? You look within your habits. Now in your habits you have many patterns and you have to change one thought at a time and put pen to paper. Hey guys, whenever you feel angry in life, make sure that you make a video just like this. As you can see behind me, I have Glenay Beach in Adelaide. Now why do I say this? Because when you go to the beach and you have a scenery like this in the background, it's such an amazing experience to just witness something like this and to also listen to the waves as you are speaking and also as you are educating and doing your best to help around. Listen guys, make sure you are helping around, make sure that you're going around places and being happy in life to see what an amazing world we live in. Hey guys, just wanted to emphasize, when you go to a beach and you're shooting a video, 
make sure that when you have your scooter with you and you're shooting a video that you have a scarf while you are on the beach because it's 12 degrees it's very cold it's freezing out here it's so freezing man and make sure that you have a beanie gloves on you because the beach can get really cold my nose is freezing that's how cold it is out here <laughs> so make sure that you are well well dressed for the beach on winter when you go to visit a country in winter on the beach make sure that you have clothes on hello everyone here's the thing about traveling traveling opens your mind how does it open your mind well the best thing that you can experience on a travel event is new people culture new scenery new architecture you can become a better version of yourself you also go into the unknown you step out of your comfort zone you become more confident you become a better communicator you also achieve more in life and you become happier as you are traveling there is a certain rush that you get as you are traveling the world and this rush is very addictive it's very addictive to travel the world because it's an experience of a, of a lifetime so make sure that you're always traveling so currently at Glen Glenelg Beach this is how it looks like behind me as you can see over here there are large buildings people who own that building rent it out to the people who live there and also as you can see over here someone owns that building all right and now Glenelg is actually right next to Adelaide it's right next to Adelaide it's about 30 minutes by tram it's one of the most popular beaches near Adelaide it's called Glenelg as you can see there there's a church it's a very beautiful place look at this wow huh how amazing is that The weather right now is 12 degrees and no one's swimming right now as it's winter it's the 31st of July and another month to go until winter but I'm having fun the main thing is that I got to Adelaide the main thing is I'm here and that I'm breathing that I'm living and if you asked me 10 years ago, would I be at Adelaide near Glenelg Beach? I would say, wow. I probably will never believe you. But here I am. I mustered a lot of courage to be here. I sacrificed a lot. And sometimes in life, you have to sacrifice in order to get somewhere. So now, I will tour Glenelg Beach. Glenelg Beach is actually over there, just over, up over there where the church is. Further down, there are shops all over the place. I'll just go check it out. It's actually 2:57 during the day, so I've got another two hours before the before the sun falls and I'll make sure to make the most of it here because I probably will never be back so as you may know when you go on a holiday it actually feels like a holiday it has that nice vibe to it that you're traveling it's not really the holiday it's the actual actually the travel the thing of getting A to B which is the most important in life making sure that you're always going from A to B from B to C C to D and you're always moving and then when you get to Z that's the beginning you're going from Z to A again and then you just keep on traveling keep on traveling there's nothing better guys like honestly 
Look at this little one. She's over there, as you can see her right there. She's right there. I, tr I tried to zoom, but she's right there and she's playing on the sand. That's how I was when I was a kid. I had no cares in the world. But luckily in my 20s, just before I turned 20, I quit alcohol. And most of my 20s, five years later, I wasn't much of a drinker. I was a big smoker in, in my first half of my 20s, but that's about it. I quit drugs around the age of 21. My teenage years was a big disaster, but I experimented, I, I experienced a lot in my teenage years. And until 26 is when my life started, really started. And 26 to about 31, they say it's a prime, prime years of your life. So here I am at my prime, vegan, sober, realist. I'm a realist. I'm a, I, I love realism. And currently living at home. So there you go. At Glen Elk, enjoying the beach. It's very windy. I've got my scooter over here, as you can see. I get to tour the. Just came to another hostel here in Adelaide and this time I gave $18 instead of $16.20 and it's an extra $2 per night for a locker so here in the hostel here there's no locker and what I do like about the hostel is there is no there is not much light inside so there's like minimal dim light which I like so when people turn on the hostel lights it's it's good but there's no lockers which is really shit and the other thing is that I like that there is eight beds here but it doesn't seem like the place that I would really want to be in so I'd rather move somewhere where it's much better so guys make sure that your hostel has lockers Hello guys, just wanted to say that when you're moving out of a hostel, make sure that you find another place that's either equal, equal value or somewhere where there are nicer people, where there are nicer surroundings, somewhere where you can have a, a lot more variety in your life. Never just stick to one hostel because you want to go see new people because sometimes you grow accustomed to a certain place and it gets boring, all right? So when you grow accustomed to somewhere in a certain city, a certain place, a certain country, make sure that you, at that stage, move on from that place, city, or country. Make sure to keep always moving because when you have new people in your life, when you have new people in your life, you're going to be able to grow the most. So make sure you do that. Hey guys, just want to say that life is work, all right? Listen, the nine to five job is something different to what you really wanna do in life. The real purpose of a nine to five job today is to help fund what you really wanna do, all right? Now, when you go to work for a nine to five job, make sure that you are never working for the money, make sure that you are working for the experience. Work for experience Never be a slave to money. Be a slave to experience, all right? Because when you work for money, you're gonna be very unhappy. Make sure that you are working hard at working smart. There is no such thing as working hard, only working smart. So make money work for you. Hey guys, don't you hate when you're sober, right? sober and everyone around you is spreading the wrong message or well, most of the people and now you're going through life doing things that 99% of the people will never do now that is one of the most difficult things to do to break cultural conditioning all right 
trying to break society's conditioning because everyone's doing or well, almost everyone is doing what almost everyone is doing 99% of the people follow the 99% of the people all right so make sure that you are the 1% of the people following the 1% who go into the unknown where the 99% of the people never go look at my head <laughs> hey guys as soon as you hesitate you have been in the mind all right now listen the more you are in your feelings the less you're going to hesitate the less you are going to self-doubt yourself because the feelings have no self-doubt the mind is full of self-esteem issues the mind has full of anxiety your feelings never have anxiety the only way your feelings are going to have anxiety is when you poison your feelings now when you poison your feelings you are never going to be able to judge what emotions you have in any given second now when you stay sober you're able to judge and self-regulate now self-regulation is a way for you to love yourself it's a selfish module for you to succeed all right because if you don't love yourself nothing else in the world is going to nothing else in the world is going to love you so make sure you love yourself hey guys guess what no one's gonna buy you shopping no one's gonna travel for you no one's gonna take action for you no one's gonna truly love you in life do you know why because the only person that's ever ever in life going to truly love you is yourself everything else is fake love your soulmate is not out there somewhere your marriage is with yourself all right marriage is a process marriage is really yourself loving you in life loving yourself now there is a thing called bondage now with bondage make sure that you are bonding with yourself because only through bondage through loving yourself through bondage with yourself can you achieve everything else hey guys I cannot emphasize enough to stay out of the mind now why do you have to stay out of the mind because the mind is the limit all right there's a saying that goes around and it goes like this the sky is the limit the sky is the mind the sky is the limit the mind is the limit the mind is the sky okay so the sky is the limit make sure to get out of your head because it's the limit all right to get out of your head to get out of your head is the best thing you can do because then you are going to be in your feelings now when you are in your feelings instead of the mind you are going to become limitless you're going to become unlimited because the mind is limited all right the mind is robotic while feelings are forever hey guys do you see this do you see 30 bucks australian do you know where this is going this is going straight into my mindset now i have to put this 30 dollars into the deposit machine so that i can go online and get myself the next book on finance so that i can learn about how to manage money because if a person doesn't manage their money they cannot travel so i have to be able to better my finances through financial iq so what i do is i study finance i better my money making strategies and i plan my my investing better and i invest my money into better places and guess what i get to travel and i get to become financially free here is the problem with a big talker in life a big talker is a hypocrite now listen stay away from hypocrites because they'll say to you oh you cannot do that but then they are doing exactly that a person who lies about what they do in life all right and they actually are doing it are people who are hypocrites okay now make sure to be living your talk make sure to always 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 inspire the world through personal growth through career growth through, through financial growth through emotional growth life is emotional growth emotions rule the world make sure to always 
manifest a better life for yourself. Make sure to always plan ahead and make decisions that are best for you. Guys, the only thing that matters in life is growing intentionally. Now, how do you grow intentionally? Now, listen, the only way to truly grow in life is to be sober. All right. Now, use your emotions to mature more. All right. Because only through maturity can you be really successful. Only through maturity can you gain more confidence. The only way to be healthy in life is to make sure that your nutrition is on point and to make sure that you are doing everything in your power to be healthy. Life isn't worth living being unhealthy. Make sure to be successful, make sure to go Toastmasters, make sure to be a public speaker and make sure to always, 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 always travel the world because that is living life to the fullest. Hello everyone, just wanted to say stop acting like a victim in life. Stop accusing people that they are attacking you, that they are blaming you, that they are mistreating you unfairly because life is 90% of how you react to life and 10% what happens to you, alright? Make sure to control yourself, alright? You're not God, all right? All right, look, you may be a higher power and you may be here for a certain amount of time to do bigger things for a higher power, but you are not Jesus, all right? So what you need to be doing is succeeding more often and you also have to be becoming less of a victim in life. Hey guys. Do you know what's sexy about a man or woman? It's the fact that they have a really, really strong EQ. Now, EQ is everything in life. A person who has EQ has it all. How do you get EQ? Well, go sober in life. Get off the drugs. Get off the alcohol. Stop watching TV. Honestly, stop watching the news. Why do you have to watch the news? It spreads negativity. Why do you have to listen to the radio? Stop the radio. It also spreads negativity. Exercise. Health is first. Why do you have to have alcohol? You cannot have alcohol and health at the same time. Listen, if you want to be the best version of yourself, quit alcohol right now. Do you know what's the worst thing in life? When people are laughing at me. When people laugh at you, that's the fucking worst of all. Because there's nothing in the world worse than a person who's bullying you. But guess what? It actually helps grow me in life. When people laugh at me, I get stronger, I get better. No one can stop me. Because to me, the only important thing is that I keep growing in the midst of people who are jealous and in the midst of people who do not give a fuck about me so then I give a fuck about me and then at least like that I get to succeed and I get to go places while they sit in one spot doing jack shit so that's why let people laugh at you but let your success speak for itself Hello everyone Look, the best revenge in life is travelling Alright? You get to travel the world while all the people that you grew up with and that you've seen in the past are stuck in one area. That to me is the best revenge of all. But what's even better than that is becoming a millionaire. Now whoever's watching this video right now is able to become a millionaire. Do you know why? Because everyone has what it takes. Now most people do it But the thing is that only 1% of humanity really does the work to become a millionaire. The other 99% of the world is stuck in a 9 to 5 job. Now to become a millionaire, the easiest way is to read every single day. One hour. Hello everyone. 
just wanted to say that do you know how many people hate me? Do you know how many people are jealous of me in life? And do you think I care? I don't give a fuck. I never even think about those people. What's there, what's there to think about people who hate you? Go where the love is. <laughs> Go and celebrate your life all the time. Make sure that you're always living in the present moment. Make sure that you are always improving yourself every day. Because only by improving yourself can you travel the world. Alright? When you travel the world, make sure that you're taking care of your finances. Alright? Traveling is always going to help you to manage your finances better. So I always, always, always recommend for anyone to go and travel because it's a great experience. All right, but make sure to be consciously consciously investing your money into the best things. Listen guys, never in your life stay in one spot. Life is supposed to be a journey, not a one area destination. All right? Never live anywhere. Why do you have to live somewhere? Why don't you live everywhere in life? Why do you have to live in one area because it's more cost effective. Why don't you just travel from from Germany to Spain to France to Australia to Thailand? Why don't you just go and live around the world for as long as you like? What's stopping you? Nothing is stopping you in life. Stop saying that your kids are the problem. Stop saying that money is the problem. Stop saying that your job is the problem or your boss is the problem. No, mate. You are the problem, all right? And you are also your solution. Work on yourself and you'll be able to do that. Hello everyone. The definition of success is someone who does not give a fuck what anyone thinks of that person, all right? For example, look at me. I stand here in the middle of a shopping mall called Rundle Mall in Adelaide, all right? And as you can see behind me is like this nice representation of Vivid. And people are looking at me, I'm talking on the camera, and I don't give a fuck because I am in my feelings. I am in my heart right now. Right? Sometimes you're not always going to get everything right away. Right? You cannot just have a million dollars right away. You can win the lotto, but that's that's the worst way to gain a million dollars. The best way to accumulate a large sum in life is to work on yourself and to do your best. Hello everyone. Just wanted to say that when when someone asks you for a photo, to take a photo of them, for example, with me in the fountain and you are the photo taker, make sure to take the best photo you can and make sure to make a commitment, not just in photos but also in life. Because what are you going to do without commitment. What are you going to do without dedication? You need to be able to stay consistent, become confident, and you have to also make sure to do your best in life. Stop trying to please other people. Stop trying to to do everything at once. Do everything separately and focus on one thing throughout your life. Focus on course until success. That's what FOCUS stands for. Do that and you will succeed. Hello guys, just wanted to say that most people think they have to work more for money to have more money. That's a total myth and that's a total illusion. Because the only way to increase your fortune in life is to work on yourself and also cut Cut Spotify out, cut YouTube out, cut cigarettes out, cut, cut alcohol out, cut all the drugs out. Stop drinking coffee. Stop eating meat. And you'll see, you, you, have, you, you already have a 20, 20 grand increase in your expenditure per year. You can use 20,000 more dollars per year to travel, for example. Work more on yourself than you do at a 9 to 5 job. The funniest thing is when I say that I watch pornography and that I masturbated to it and then many people go, 
<laughs> like this and it's because the whole world knows about me now all right and then they laugh at me right go telling other people go telling other women right but they all do the same thing all of them do the same thing right like in front of the screen every single day men and women and they're laughing at me right because I had the balls I had the guts to say to the world right that yes I did it right but it's totally stupid it's very degrading it makes you materialistic the funniest thing in life is when someone sees that I read 180 hours per month and they go Puh, bruh. Puh. Like, like they're making fun of me right and then they go telling other people this guy <laughs> reads 180 hours per week and then they start laughing right but their reaction Turbo, hey, hey. They're making fun of me, right? They're like, hey, bro, you read too much. Oh yeah, bro. That's why. That's why I travel the world. That's why I'll live ten, ten years longer. That's why I'm vegan. That's why I lost forty-seven kilos. That's why I overcame schizophrenia. Because I read. Honestly, I really dislike when you follow me on Facebook. You follow me and you are a little snake, viper, right? You look at what I do and then you go and tell people who dislike me about what I do in life. <clears throat> Listen, delete yourself, please. Because people like you who just blah, 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 big talker, no discipline, right? You have to look at what I do because you are miserable with your life, all right? And then you have to go talk bad about me behind my back because you're a jealous motherfucker, all right? Get a life, you're a loser, no one likes you. Honestly, the best way to succeed in life is to read audiobooks. Now listen, many people in the world do not read at all and they expect to succeed. Oh yeah, yeah man. They go from person to person believing what people say. Now I was one of those people and I went from person to person to person to person believing everything they said to, said to me right and now my bank balance and your bank balance is strictly because of the people you have surrounded yourself with now surround yourself with better people to get a better bank balance many people ask me Danny, how do you do it? How do you travel the world? Like, they see my success. They see I go to Melbourne. They see I go to Adelaide. <clears throat> they see I become vegan. They see I, I lose 47 kilos. They see I overcome schizophrenia. They see I quit smoking. I had an addiction to smoking for seven years. I quit smoking. I quit caffeine. I quit drugs. I read every single day. People don't see that. People never see that I read 180 hours per month. Go divide 180 divided by three. You'll see how much I read. No one sees how much discipline I have in my life. No one sees how much expenses I cut from my life. Hello everyone. Just want to say that Visiting cities is the best thing in life that you can do. Do you know why? Because when you are on a road trip, even if you are on a bus trip, a plane trip, a scooter trip, 
a walk trip, a run trip, somewhere where the sightseeing and the structure and the city is different, you're going to get a rush. It's a massive, massive rush and you're expanding yourself, you're becoming more confident, you're gaining more life skills, you're meeting new people, you get to see a new culture, new types of food, new types of roads, it's worth it. Every step of the way, make sure that you are investing in traveling and never settling down to live anywhere else in life but travel. Hello guys, when you come to Adelaide, the best thing is walking the streets of Adelaide. And especially right now, it's around 12.30 at night, okay? And in Adelaide right now, there's 1.3 million people in 2019. Now, on a Thursday, or actually Friday morning, 12.30 a.m., so Friday just started, there are not many cars, there are not many people out on the road in the Adelaide CBD. So walking during the night, once you get your hostel or hotel or motel, whatever you can afford, make sure to go out and about into Adelaide and check out the lights during the night. Check out how many people there are. Check out how many cars. Check out the infrastructure. Check out where the music is. It's very beautiful. It's never crowded in Adelaide. And that's the best thing about it. Hello everyone, I just wanted to say that when you are crossing the streets of Adelaide or when you're crossing the streets of Australia, when you're crossing the streets of Europe, either by scooter, by car, by transportation, by running, by walking, whatever it is, okay? Make sure that when it's a red light on the, on the actual pedestrian crossing, when it's a red light, make sure to stop because there are many people who go past the red lights and listen the whole point of red lights in life is to stop and enjoy the scenery okay by crossing a red light what happens is you miss this present moment all right you miss the moment so make sure for every red light that you are stopping and looking around look at the people look at the nature look at the animals look at the cars look at the buildings enjoy life please Hello guys, when you guys find yourself coming to Adelaide from Melbourne or maybe from around the world, what you can do from Melbourne, you can catch the Firefly bus. It's a road trip for 12 hours, okay, for $60. Now, bringing a, a scooter on board to a bus will cost, is actually another $30, okay, for the bus ride. But listen, once you get to Adelaide, there is a hostel called Tequila Sunrise, okay, $16.20 for a night here in Adelaide and you have electric scooters all over the place you got a casino here in the casino here there's no nightclubs at all so you have to go to a nightclub outside the casino but the people here are amazing there are shopping centers all year round and in Adelaide for winter is very beautiful and also in all seasons hello guys just wanted to say how easy it is to live in Adelaide. Do you know why? Because there are, for example, shops right next to hostels. All the streets are so beautiful. There's a lot of space in the streets. But the main thing is the casino is close. The shopping centers are close. All right, there's not many people here. All right, that's another one. And also, the people are nicer here. There's much less pressure in terms of work life, in terms of getting around. It's a planned city. Adelaide is a planned city. So the streets are full of space. You can get around so easy. You can live so easy. And the, the people here are very beautiful. Hello, everyone. Just wanted to say that when you guys get to Adelaide, the amazing thing that I found out is there are scooters, electric scooters, all over the place in Adelaide. So guess what? You can hop on to an electric scooter for free. For free. For one hour, you can go sightseeing in Adelaide. Okay? For one hour for free with an electric scooter. 
But guess what? For the next hour or for the next minute after one hour, okay, you have to give $19 for that hour that you just cruised on. But they never charge you unless you want to go further for an extra hour. Now, how amazing is that? Come to Adelaide and have yourself and, in, and invest in yourself to go sightseeing. Who cares? Hey guys, the best thing you can do in life is be yourself in life. It doesn't matter what happened in the past, but what matters is that you are becoming a better person in general, making sure that on your trip somewhere with a bus or by plane that you are meeting new people that you are communicating which is the most important humans must communicate you must always make sure to connect with people because the more you can com connect with people and the more you can communicate and connect and also talk with others the better you can get at being confident the better you can fly past your past behaviors and make sure and, and you can also make sure that you are on the right track with better habits so currently in Bendigo right now and enjoying my scenery at the train station it's called Bendigo and enjoying the scenery this is my bus driver right here David hello oh. <laughs> there he is <laughs> and just we stopped for the first stop at a train station to go toilet and also to eat something to rejuvenize and to get other people on board this is how the train station in Bendigo looks like there's only one rail line and it's 9 24 in the morning and there's no people well there's there's only one person over here but that's it and it's also five degrees here, and it's beautiful. Hey guys, the most important thing is when you ask a woman or a guy for social media, make sure that you ask genuinely. Now, how do you ask someone genuinely, genuinely for something that you want? The best way to ask and the best way to get what you want in life is ask believe receive what does that mean now it's stated in the bible ask receive no ask receive ask believe receive and once you do that it's through feeling all right the only way to get what you truly want and to answer that question that i just proposed is through feeling all right ask through feeling believe through feeling and receive through feeling that's all it is hey guys just wanted to say if you are driving a sports car a really expensive or a really great investment that you've made like a sports car a scooter anything that you can tie up or park somewhere make sure that you park it somewhere where there are no people who are drinking alcohol because if you park your car or tire scooter next to a pub a bar or a nightclub what's going to happen is someone's going to get that they're going to get the their fist and they're going to try to rip the scooter and they're going to try to scratch your car your sports car and stuff like that and there are drunk idiots out there so make sure that you always park your car and your scooter somewhere where there are no bars and no drunk people hey guys do you know what logic is logic is a way to scam people and rob people all right why is that because the mind has no feelings when you are too much in the mind when you are rational uh, when you are rationalizing things through the mind through logic and when you are too much in your head when you're thinking too much it's a disease, as Eckhart Tolle says. Now, why is it a disease? Because the mind has no emotion, all right? 
when you talk with emotion, you are purely genuine and purely honest. But when you are in the mind, you're always looking to scam someone. You're always looking to backstab someone with your logic. All right. Now, the only way to gain trust and respect and status in the world is through emotional intelligence. Hey guys, this is your best selling point in life. The best selling point in life is being able to speak with emotion. Listen, everything happens with emotion. Emotion rules the world, as you may hear Tony Robbins say. Do you know why? Because emotions, EQ, emotional intelligence, emotional quotient, all right, EI, EQ, whatever, never screws people over. Talking with your emotions, speaking to people through EQ, through your feelings, is the best way to communicate and is the best selling point in life. If you want to sell yourself, sell yourself with your feelings, with your emotions. Never with mind, never with IQ, never with logic. Only feelings can get you to where you want to go. The feelings describe things the mind never can. Hello guys, do you know what's the funniest thing in life? When you are extremely logical in the world and you think that people don't understand you because you are so smart in the world but the only thing that you want to be doing in life is making sure that you are in your feelings because only thieves of life are logical, alright? Thieves look for people to fuck over, alright? The only thing that you want to be doing is being in your feelings because you don't want to be scamming people with your logic. The most honest person is a person who has feeling and emotion to what they're saying. A person who talks robotically with their mind through logic, through IQ, is a person who is a loner, is a loner, all right? Very successful, but no one loves him or her. Hello everyone, just wanted to say that when you are traveling the world, all right, and you have to go to another state or another country or whatever, make sure that you book a hostel before you get there. Because when you get there, what's going to happen is you might arrive at night time and then you might go to the hostel and, and you, you might try to pay for the hostel for the night. But what's going to happen is they're going to say that checking time is the next day at 2 p.m. So you have to wait all night, basically, to be able to get into that hostel. So, so say you are in Melbourne, book a hostel the day before, right? So when you get there during the night, you can just walk into the hostel and sleep, all right? Much better to book your hostel before you get to a certain city and do it online. Here is the only thing that matters in life. The only thing that matters in life is your habits, nothing else. When you get your habits right, you get everything else right. Lao Tzu said, your habits are your destiny. The person who can, who can have rich habits in life is the person who is gonna become all they can be in life, all they can be. Be a person who has rich habits because when you have rich habits, you can achieve anything you ever want. You can live however long you want. And I believe that to be true. Make sure that you are always helping people prosper and become more abundant. Make sure that you're doing things to help people elevate their game, to make them an influencer, to make them better than they are. Otherwise, you are nothing. Do you really think that I give a fuck about how much money you have, that doesn't interest me at all, all right? What interests me about your life is that you have a great attitude towards me and towards other people. Attitude is everything, mindset over money, all right? Make sure that you have the mindset needed to make as much money as possible because without wisdom, Without life skills, without applying knowledge, you'll never be anything in the world. Action is everything. 
make sure to take more action in your daily life so that you can become someone for yourself, for something above you, and make your family rich in the process. Hey guys, I just wanted to elaborate on something and that's when renting in Australia, make sure that you are looking for the most cost effective prices in Australia right now. And what I've learned in my journey of traveling is that a hostel is much more better than renting a house in Sydney, renting a house anywhere in Australia right now. Listen, why don't you travel to Melbourne or travel anywhere around the world, for example, or in Australia, for example, let's stick to Australia, and rent a hostel for $15 a night, all right? It comes off more cost effective. It's a better deal for you. You get to visit a new city, and then you can also work in that city for whatever you want to do and live there and then you can move on to another hostel in some other state all right it's much better for you to do it like that than to stay stuck in one place renting for more money well, guys just wanted to make something perfectly clear and that's when you are going to shop for example at office work supermarket wherever you're going to shop make sure that you see the price tag below of what you're trying to get what you're trying to invest in all right then when, once you take it to the machine and it says it's a higher price but it says on the price tag that it's a lower price in the shop make sure that you get it for the lower price because that's your right and you can take them to court and you can sue the fuckwits for for scamming you like that all right never pay for something that says on the computer that it's a higher price when the price tag of what you're trying to buy is lower in the shop all right so make sure to take advantage of those prices that you see on the price tags all right the price tag in the shop is the real price stick to that hey guys so today is a life-changing day for me because today is the first time in my life that I've learned that I'm secure that I have no insecurity at all like it's a self-realization that I have no insecurity at all that I can approach secure woman, secure men, and be totally fine with them. But the thing is, I must stay away from insecure people because they are the ones that make me rethink my strategies. So when I go with insecure people, they just make me more insecure. So I have to be around more secure people and that's why today I've had a, I've had a self-realization that I'm secure, emotionally secure. Hey guys, so I just wanted to say that when you're planning, when you're doing some planning, okay, make sure that you are planning in emotional intelligence. So what you want to do is you want to plan with your feelings about the future. If anything happened in the past and you want to revisit a memory, make sure that you revisit the past with your feelings, okay? And then write based on your past with your feelings. Now, if you want to make a decision in life, get your phone out, get on your notes, and make a decision with your feelings. Let your feelings dictate your life. Let your feelings dictate where you go in life. Your feelings are your intuition. Your feelings are your EQ. Your EQ is stronger than your IQ. Be in your feelings. It's the best feeling in the world. The funniest thing is when you go on Snapchat and you say, please share my Snapchat. And it's a guy, right? And no one shares the guy's Snapchat. But when a woman, a little girl, maybe 14, 15 years old, puts a doggy thing on her and say fuck me doggy uh, fucking three four shares she gets like because obviously she's she's saying to people to objectify her as a prostitute and to fuck her up in life she gets four shares but when a motivational speaker like a, a guy who's trying to to at least become something better in life that person because it's a guy he never gets a share but the girl who says fuck me doggy gets four shares like that's fucking bullshit it's discrimination against guys to be honest it's the truth hey guys here's the funniest thing that I've ever experienced in my life 
and that's when I was at a cinema, at a seminar earlier in my life, everyone wants to be taught by the millionaire, right? Everyone wants to be around the millionaire, all right? But not everyone can get to the millionaire, all right? Now listen, sometimes even the average person can teach you something, all right? Never disregard anyone in life. A homeless person can teach you what a millionaire can in life. A homeless person can teach you the streets, all right? How to survive, all right? Every person is a teacher in life. Never just run to a millionaire, all right? Run to everyone for advice. Okay, because guess what? Those who lift you up are always going to be the ones who have the most respect for you and the ones that also are giving you value. So you have to be able to go to people who who do know about some some type of information that you want to some type of information that you want to learn but everyone is a teacher in life and make sure that you are learning from your surroundings and from the people around you also so i have a book here it's called supernatural one person told me to read this book and i'll check the table of contents right now watch this oops one second All right, so it has here, mind movies, walking meditation, that sounds interesting. The present moment, I can always read about the present moment. Heart intelligence, see, that jumps at me. It's on 155. I'll go read a paragraph about heart intelligence at the library. That's why I come to the library, guys. I do nothing but come to the library to just get a feel for a book and to read a paragraph about heart intelligence. Because guess what? The heart is everything in life. The heart is better than the mind. All right, the heart doesn't need the mind. The mind needs the heart. Be always in the heart. Guys, I just want to teach you a big, big, big lesson here. What is a library? Do you know what a library is? Do you know what to do at the library? Do you know how to read a book? Listen guys, do you see this shelf here? You open a book that you feel you need to read from, right? Something that grasps you, you grab it, you check out the table of contents, you feel what kind of information you need in the table of contents, and then you read a paragraph about that subject. And then you go here, and you pick up in the next book, you check the table of contents, and you pick up some wisdom for free, for free. Get the next book. Oh, about money management, yeah? Oh, I have to learn about that. Check the table of contents and then read a paragraph. Check the next Hey guys, so I'm currently, after an AFL match, I was, tell I was telling myself, I wanna kill myself, I wanna kill myself, I wanna kill myself, I wanna die, I wanna die, die, die. That's all I wanna do, I just wanna die. Fucking take me home, God, take me home. Please kill me, God, please, please kill me, please kill me. And then I was imagining a knife to go through my throat and through my eye and for someone to kill me and for God to kill me in this accident, car crash and also just to die as a person because I don't want to live in this life anymore. Right? That's how I was feeling. Right? But the thing is, I overcame that because I was in my feelings the whole time. But see, if I was in my head, I probably would have believed my reasoning and I probably would have committed suicide. That's why I always be in your feelings throughout life and let your intuition guide you. My only selling point in life is that I never ever in my life again will try to convince someone of my way of thinking. The reason being is that there is no reason in life. You're just here. You're just here to live, right? Everyone walks their own path, everyone has their own experience. Now I go based on my experience. Why did I turn vegan? For the animals, 100%. For the animals, for my health, for, longev for longevity too. All right? 
Why did I go sober? The same reasons, right? The same reasons. What else do you want? But I'll never again try to convince anyone what to do, what to say, how to live, because I'll let you find out the truth for yourself. While I do, 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 do. People think they're so smart in life. Like, alcohol drinkers are telling me what to do with my life. Like, seriously, man. When you start to better yourself, when you start to love yourself 100% like I do, that is the only time that you can tell me what the fuck to do in life. Alright, especially drug takers out there as well. You guys smoke the cigarettes, smoke the bong every fucking day smoking weed yeah fucking little bitches to be honest that's the truth all right telling me how to live my life and then you got the decency to criticize me for how i live a sober life and especially because i'm vegan yeah no worries live the way you want to live man karma gets you anyway yeah. guys he he here is my total selling point from now on that I have to never ever again prove myself to anyone. All right? I'll say one thing, and if you choose to listen to me, congratulations. But if you think there is something better in the world than my wisdom, then you can go and get lost, all right? Go to someone else in life because I don't need to be spreading my wisdom to people who won't take action in life. Alright, people only value when they invest money into something. But when you give them free stuff, when you give them free whatever, free wisdom, they never value it at all. So that's why I always put a price on your work and make sure you charge people because that's when they're they're gonna they are going to respect you like that and they're gonna value what you have to what you have to say. Hey guys, so I was watching an AFL game recently. It was Hawthorne versus Geelong. And there was this guy who was telling the kid to stop waving his flag because the winning side was winning and he was losing. And it's so stupid because how violent people can be with kids, especially today. And they want to outsmart kids in some kind of way. Like they pick on a five-year-old to try and make themselves feel better about themselves. These guys are bullies and honestly, if you have to bully a kid to make him feel shit about himself or herself, then you are one fucking big motherfucking scum in the world. Alright? Never fall below humanity. Alright? Kids are very smart the way they are. Hey guys, just wanted to say that in a crowd where there is a lot of drugs going on, there are a lot of beautiful women, there are a lot of beautiful people, right? Making sure that you have a clean mind throughout your day is the best thing of all. Making sure that you're always, every single day, waking up and perfecting and practicing a better routine and practicing a better habit schedule but also making sure that you're bettering yourself through your habits because if you have poor habits you also have a poor life so how do you have more in life the best way to have more is to improve your habits your habits are your destiny so every single day try to change one little thought about your day one little habit and you improve your life. Hey guys, the only thing that matters in life is making sure that you're acquiring skills every single day, making sure that you have more wisdom throughout the day to live a better life, making sure that you are drowning out the noise that you hear and focusing more on yourself because you are worth it. Never believe people who say that you are a shit cunt, that you are nothing, because if you believe in lies, you will be led astray. All right. So make sure that you're always loving yourself in the midst of people who are killing themselves slowly with alcohol and drugs. Fuck those people. Make sure that you go on your road 
Make sure that you're doing things according to where you want to go in life. Make sure that you are setting goals and planning every single day as well as reading. I just wanted to explain that when you're traveling the world and you're going through hostels and you're going, you're just traveling the world and you have to sleep somewhere, make sure that you are packing sandwiches on your commutes to wherever you're going. Listen, invest in one of these containers, it's three dollars, it's a 1.8 liter container holds four sandwiches all right now listen i make my sandwiches with wholemeal bread tofu tomato paste and vegetable stock powder all right i make sure to have food in my bag at all times because i never in my life ever again will eat in a restaurant to be honest because i have no need to i just pack myself sandwiches and I get to keep a lot more money and I use and I also get to travel the world much more often. Guys, the funniest thing is how funny people from Senegal are. I was watching the Algeria game versus Senegal in the African World Cup 2019. And I was sitting with my friend and some Senegal people. And in the first five minutes, Algeria score a goal. But it was an accidental goal where the Algerian player kicked the ball into the knee of the Senegal player which lobbed the keeper and it ended up for Algeria to win 1-0 for that final. And now the Senegal guy was like, that was something beyond this world. This, this ball is very, because the way it moved, it's very mystic how this goal happened. This was, this was a mystic power saying that Algeria must win this game. And trust me, this was mystic, mystic. I just wanted to say something. That the other day I was called very boring for posting videos of myself like this. And posting it to Snapchat, giving some skills within the videos. Tips here and, there. and I was told that my content and my videos and what I what I teach and all my quotes that it's shit especially this video by that person's remark as well because guess what I don't give a fuck if it's shit or not because in 50 years time I get to look at myself how I was at 27 years old and that's the most important thing to me as long as I give you a few tips within one minute I can move on with my life because at least I'm giving something all right never believe others believe yourself the most I just wanted to say guys this right here is four dollars eighty all right and you get 165 grams of this five-star protein nut bar but what you can do is you can go to Woolies and you can grab for $2.30 unsalted peanuts and you get the same amount of protein as this $4.80 nut bar all right and you get also less sugar in unsalted peanuts so the best thing to do when eating nut bars and protein bars is substitute nut bars and protein bars for unsalted peanuts at Woolies. It's more cost effective and it will be easier for your life. Yeah. Hi guys, just wanted to make something clear. See this here? This is a muesli bar, a protein nut bar. And it says five stars, okay? But listen, it's no good because it holds too much fat. It has 32 grams of fat per 100 grams. You're supposed to have 100 grams or less per 100 gram. Now, I, find, I found this one, which is four stars, okay? And this one has 8.9 grams of fat per 100 grams, which is much better because we don't need fat. We need low fat foods, not 30 grams per 100 grams. This one's got 8.9 per 100 grams but also has less saturated fat. This one has 2.5, it's a four, four star, while the five star one has 3.9. So obviously get the lower saturated fat at 2.5 per 100 grams. Here's the thing about life, 
I have no idea why they make a freaking one and a half star food. Like, why do you even have to put that in supermarkets? Like, why, why, why doesn't the world get all these fucking one star, two star, three star, fucking throw it away, all right? Stop putting that shit on the shelves, all right? And the world's gonna become better through eating four star and five star food, all right? But always try to aim for food that has five star, okay? Five star is the best. If you cannot find five star in a certain particular food, go four and a half star. If you cannot find four and a half star, go four star, okay? Make sure never to eat three star and below foods. It's fucking bad for you, all right, guys? Make sure that you're always eating healthy, making sure that you're eating the best foods on the planet, not the fucking worst foods. Hello guys, so currently here at the cinema in Crown Casino, and we'll be watching The Lion King. And it's my first time here in Melbourne at an actual casino watching a movie. And then it's a Friday night also. So after Lion King, I'll be going to listen to some music, probably go shoot some videos, make some content, and post it on the social medias. But also have a good time and make sure that I'm self reflecting, eating correctly, planning ahead, and also meeting up with my friend later on from my hostel. And we're gonna go listen to some music here at the Crown Casino. There is the Lamia Bar, and the, there is also the. There's about two free entries, and also there is like two R&B clubs that we can go to. So everything is going good, and the Lion King is gonna be awesome. Hey guys, do you want 3,003 quotes right now? All you have to do is go to my YouTube channel at Grove Coach 007. Click on one of my videos, go underneath into the description and click one of the three links that I have to my free books. All right. I also have another book called Ultimate Road to Success where I talk about pornography and also masturbation. And it's for free. All you have to do is sign up for a free trial on audible.com and get that book for free. Download it for free and then take off the subscription of audible.com and you don't have to pay you don't have to invest a cent into my book you can get it for free all you have to do is just sign up for the free trial and then cut the free trial off and you'll get my book for free guys the best way to ever live life is to practice what you are good at if you want to succeed in something if you want to succeed in singing for example you sing and sing and sing and sing until you succeed all right but once you do succeed you keep singing because success is in the singing the same goes with running the same goes with athletics the same goes with writing the same goes with motivational speaking the same goes with communication the same goes with teaching with anything in life you have to keep repeating that craft if you want to get good at it you have to keep doing what you love to do because if you don't, what, what, is, what else are you going to do? The best thing you can do is do your craft and do you. There's nothing better than that, hello guys. So just ask any person at the casino. Actually, no. Ask any rich person how gamblers live life. They live life like losers. Gamblers never win. And you can ask any rich person in the world that and they will tell you that gamblers are losers because you can never win through desperation in gambling you can only win by improving yourself daily and you can only win by minimizing your risk in the long term you want to be able to fail as much as possible and that way you will minimize your risk so never gamble, because if you gamble, you're going to lose all your money. Hey guys, just wanted to make one thing perfectly clear, and that's just to bring up a topic that no wonder everyone is so scared about believing in other people because there are so much 
deceivers out there, so many liars, so many people who want to take advantage of you, so many predators who have nothing but hate for you. There's so much hate going out into the world. There's so much negativity going out into the world. That's why so many people are trying to stay their own course without going a specific way into someone else because there are a lot of people who want to take you in the wrong direction so you have to be careful who you surround yourself with and make sure that you're always positive make sure that you're going places and make sure that you're lifting yourself up all the time I have some people saying to me oh my god Danny are you going to be a social media influencer and I'm like yeah fuck why not Grant Cardone's doing it, Robert Kiyosaki's doing it, Zig Ziglar did it, Jim Rohn did it, John C. Mac Maxwell did it, Eckhart Tolle does it, Neil Donald Walsh, Tim Ferriss, Lewis Howes, Gary Vaynerchuk, they're all social, social media influencers. Cristiano Ronaldo, all the best soccer players in the world, all the best athletes in the world, all have Instagram, all have YouTube. The videos are all over social media. Why? Why? can I not do the same right it only makes sense to be a social media influencer go out and inspire the world because you can why not I'm doing it invest your time wisely hey guys so currently at Crown Casino and I just wanted to talk about when I was a little kid how I used to think that my father and mother were gonna teach me everything along the roads I thought my father and mother were going to be there every step of the way. But see, as I grew up, I was totally wrong about most of what I thought because everything that I was taught was from other people. Now I had to grow up throughout, throughout life and learn my own truth about where I want to go in life. And there have been people that would love to drag me down and that would love to drag me away from my goals so I decided to look to myself and to stand my own ground and to believe in what's true for me and to believe in my own experiences and that's what I suggest everyone else do also right so here's one thing you guys didn't know about me when I was in year 9 actually when I was in year 10 I went out with this girl who is Serbian like me and she was in year 9 and she was the hottest girl in year 9 to be honest, she was the hottest, all right? And we went out for one day. <laughs> Why one day? Because I broke it up <laughs> it went on one day. She didn't want to say hi to me, and I just said, fuck off. And after that, I didn't have a stable relationship for the next 10 years. So that was a good decision on my part because I was not ready for a relationship, even with the hottest girl in year nine. But it just goes to show that I was very mature and it was actually so funny because the whole year that I was in was laughing at me, but I didn't care. It's good memories for and me. There was this girl I went out with for a few days, probably one week, and she took me to a nightclub and she said with a friend, she sat down with a friend and me and her other guy friend and she's like I think we should call it quits and I was like why what's wrong she's like my parents don't accept you I was like why and she's like that her parents don't accept me because I don't listen to the radio I don't watch the news I don't watch TV and I was that that was enough information for me to leave and to never see her again and to never talk to her again and luckily she told me that because I could not be around people like that because I have better things to do than listen to the radio I have better things to do than the news and than watching TV because I love myself too much hey guys. so I've been thinking how much I lack in life how much there's still so much that I haven't achieved but then as soon as I realize that I've been looking at things I don't have, it starts getting me upset. So then I revert to saying, look how I am today. 
Am I better today than I was yesterday? And then the answer is always yes. So as long as I am better today than yesterday, that's the most important thing to me. And that shows me that I have no regrets in life because even though some people have things that I don't have, I look back at my past and I say, look, I'm better than before. And most people can never say that. So even to be better than myself yesterday is a great achievement for me. Hello guys, just wanted to say that who cares if you are giving away information? Listen, life is unlimited, all right? Wisdom keeps on going, all right? Now, what distinguishes successful people with failures are the successful people give more, while the failures want to keep everything for themselves. The rich people give away what they know, while the selfish people who are poor only take away all right now if you want to be rich you have to give 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 if you want to be poor you have to take 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 now listen there's no need to be poor in life make sure that what you learn from others that you're passing on the information all right because if you make a day for another person if you make them smile in some kind of way then how beautiful is that you become successful in someone's life annuals Hello everyone, it's extremely important It's extremely important to never ever let anyone ride or drive anything of yours Who you don't know, okay? If you have a scooter, never let anyone drive it If you don't recognize the person, if you just met the person, never let them drive your scooter If you just met the person, never let them drive your skateboard if you just met the person never let them drive your car okay never trust anyone you just meet all right trust them but never let them take anything of yours okay there's a misconception going around to never trust people but yes trust people until they break it until they break your trust all right but make sure never to give anything away to people you don't know hey guys sometimes the best thing in life that you can ever do is be nice to people all right listen the opposite of nice is rude all right if you're rude you will never be good with people you will never be great with people with rudeness the only way to move ahead in life is to be nice yes there's a common misconception misconception going around that all women go for the badass guys all right that's complete bullshit all right Women always go for the guys that are very nice, all right? Nice is positive. Nice gets you ahead in life. If you are rude in life, if you have to be a jerk to a woman or an asshole, that is when you are falling. That is when no one loves you. That is when you will not succeed. The only way to truly, 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 truly succeed in life is to be nice. And that's the only way Listen, some of you guys out there are very upset because you're doing drugs, because you're smoking cigarettes, because you're drinking alcohol, because you have no girlfriend, because life is seems just life seems to be very shit for you. So listen, what you want to be doing is you want to be planning your life daily. You want to be able to go sober. L listen, if your life's not working out, quit those drugs. Why are you taking the drugs in the first place? Who in your life is triggering you to take those drugs, all right? Listen, you have to be in control of yourself, be in control of your mindset. Make sure that you're going on the right path. How do you do that? You plan every single day. Oh, today I will eat this. Today I will go here. Today I will experience this. Today I will talk to this person. You have to be able to always educate yourself, no matter what. Make sure that you're always improving yourself daily. Guys, sometimes there are a lot of people out there that really get intimidated by what they have right now but listen if you want to have more in life you have to learn you have to learn how to be grateful for what you already have because you cannot have more if you're not grateful for what you already have okay the basis of success is to do more with less so what do i mean by that it means create content Create as much quotes, as much videos, as much beautiful photos of yourself 
as much of anything that's going to promote you and then what you do is you repeat it month after month after month literally repost the same videos you did one month ago on those social medias and just keep doing that over and over again and you're going to build a very very large audience I just wanted to make one thing perfectly clear is that when you are promoting your, yourself and your brand on social media you want to be able to upload your videos to a social media that has the most audience for you all right so that may be snapchat that may be facebook page that may be instagram that may be youtube all right so these are the video platforms facebook story only has 5,000 people within your facebook profile you cannot have more than 5,000 friends within facebook but uploading your videos on facebook page can reach more people than 5,000 so i would suggest always to avoid uploading any type of videos on your facebook story now listen snapchat you can get a bunch of people youtube also instagram and facebook page these are the social medias to upload your videos on hello guys just wanted to make a point here that when you are promoting your youtube channel your snapchat yourself your face on video the best thing you want to do is you want to upload your video where the most audience is viewing you all right so that may be snapchat that may be youtube that may be instagram that may be facebook page that may be facebook story but now listen facebook story only has 5,000 people on your facebook all right on your facebook profile so we want to extend that to the whole world okay so some type of ways to upload to upload your videos are on these platforms right make sure that you're uploading your videos to youtube where it's a whole wide wide range of audiences and also on snapchat and also on instagram these are the three main social Guys, media you know what's the best thing in life the best thing in life is when you can shoot a video and teach something in that video it can be one minute it can be two minutes it can be three minutes as long as you're educating and giving value the other thing that's very important today is to have relationships, to have connections, to have someone you can talk to, to support you and also that you can support throughout life. Listen, life's a journey, alright? Life never ends. There's no arriving in life. There's no destination. You just have to keep growing. You just have to keep being better than yourself, alright? Make sure to always do the best thing for yourself. Make sure that you can afford things, all right? Make sure that you're not getting yourself into debt. Make sure that you're making more money, all right? Money is good. And make sure that you're living the best life possible, that you're living the best life possible because that's the best. Hey guys, here is the art of confidence. Do you really need confidence in life? Do you really need confidence? Seriously, of course you do, all right? So how, how better to get confidence than live a sober life? How better to get confidence than read daily one hour? How better to get confidence than to get up on social media, show your face to the world and educate something? What better way to get confidence than to go on a nice little, nice little working tour to another city where you can shoot a video like this and show your face to the world and also implant what you've learned in life listen guys there's nothing better in life than living the drug-free lifestyle would you agree sober life is the best life hands down hello guys some of you guys and girls love to drink a lot of alcohol love to drink a lot of poison and love to drink sugary drinks and caffeine and coffee but I just like to educate you a bit about those poisons like caffeine and also Red Bull what that does in life is it makes you much more irritated it makes you much more nervous and also the alcohol is very very expensive to your health in the long run you can be drinking right $15 for one shot is it worth it 
all right you have five shots you can go on a holiday somewhere in Australia or somewhere overseas guys the best thing in life is being poison free making sure that you're loving yourself 100% right, guys just wanted to make one thing perfectly clear is that I see many people on the streets they're wearing no no jumpers no jackets no pants they're wearing shorts they're wearing singlets they're wearing shirts all right and they're wearing thongs like they're wearing sandals in winter and it's 10 degrees 9 degrees outside it's freaking cold right they have no gloves all right and the problem with this is they get sick very quickly and then they blame the outside world for their problems because they got sick all right please in winter make sure that you you have a scarf on all right invest in a five dollar scarf like this it goes a long way for your neck because no one likes a sore throat remember that remember when you got a sore throat and you'll be like I'll never ever get sick like this again that's why wear a scarf wear jackets wear in winter wear clothes trust me trust me because the worst thing is catching a virus and then suffering the consequences later guys here's the best thing that you can do within a hostel okay make sure to invest in the most cost-effective hostel in that city that you want to go to all right make sure it's something affordable because if you're the type of person who always wants a hotel of 200 bucks a night unless you can afford it do it but if you cannot afford $200 a night for a hotel then you're only kidding yourself that you deserve a hotel when you go out okay listen that, that's not how the world works you only invest into things that you can afford all right now listen if you do get into a hostel make sure to invest in some earmuffs because there are going to be people who are going to snore there are going to be people who are going to be opening doors and going to be talking while you're sleeping so get earmuffs invest in earmuffs and you'll sleep much better in hostels hello right, guys so recently i was talking to one guy from my hostel and he just came back from the gym and he was like that he's very sore after two hours of training he's very tired and does, that he doesn't have enough energy and then he started to compare with other other weightlifters that they are more effective than him that they are much better in all aspects of life than him and then I told him I actually said to him I was like listen stop comparing with other people stop seeing how other how much other people are successful or how much more other people are successful than you try to compare to your past instead of other people because when you are comparing with your past and with yourself and you're making sure that you're better than yesterday that's the most important thing if you are better than yesterday with yourself that's there's nothing better than that in the world so make sure that you're always comparing against yourself and never against anyone else hey guys the best thing about peanuts is you can stop on the road and you can snapchat and you can have peanuts and also you can just be yourself on social media while you're eating and gaining brain energy because peanuts give you a lot of brain energy which can help you move forward if you've ever watched Dragon Ball Z these little peanuts are really sensu beans Goku Super Saiyan 4 never mess I always suggest bring peanuts in a plastic container like this in your bag as you can see in my stuff I've got bread I've got a bowl there for my cereal I've got barley grass supplements in this, this little container I've got a portable charger making sure that I can do my work on the go I've got a little cereal here going. so I used to sing this song in my primary school one two three four five once i caught a fish alive six seven eight nine ten then i let him go again why did you let him go because he bit my finger so which finger did he bite this little finger on my right see sometimes in life you need a nursery rhyme so that you can sing along and go like wheels on the bus go round and round round and round round and round Reels on the bus go round and round all the way to Melbourne. There you go. See, look at the, how beautiful the Paris Eiffel, the fake Paris Eiffel Tower at the back here. And look at this. You see this showcase right here? This is Melbourne. 
Melbourne. This is where you see Melbourne Victory, Melbourne, Melbourne Storm and all that kind of stuff. In previous Guys, stuff. seriously, I get a lot of questions that say, how can you afford to go to Melbourne? Look guys, the best way that I can afford to go places is I stay sober in life. Alright? I never fucking invest my money into drugs. It's so simple. I turned vegan for a sole reason, to expand my life for the animals, but also for my health, for my longevity, and also to have more money on me in the future. All right? I did that to discipline myself. I did sobriety and veganism for myself so that I can prosper and be more abundant and so I can visit Melbourne like you see in the background right here. Sometimes all it takes is a bit of discipline to be able to go places. Most people never realize what goes on behind the scenes, but once you see this face, this is all you see. But you never see what happens behind the scenes. So go sober, go vegan if you want to travel the world hey like guys, me. You know what's the best thing in life? Emotional intelligence. Do you guys know what that is? That is when you can self-regulate your emotions, when you can also judge your emotions. So you are able to actually reciprocate what type of emotions you are feeling at any given time. So when you are feeling anxiety, you are able to label anxiety. That's emotional intelligence. Another way of realizing what emotional intelligence is, is self-control. Do you get angry? Do you get anxious? Do you get shy? All right. Do you get nervous? Do you have panic attacks? That's all got to do with the nervous system. That's all got to do with how you feel in the moment. If you are taking caffeine and alcohol and drugs, guess what? Your, your emotional intelligence is going to be shit. So the best way to have better EQ or emotional intelligence is to go sober in life. Hello guys, just wanted to make one thing perfectly clear and that's if shit gets expensive, make sure to invest in the most affordable experiences, okay? Sometimes you're going to have a tight budget within your price range okay so make sure that you're doing things for free all right the best things in life are for free look sometimes you can go sightseeing and you can have the best time just doing things for free with your scooter or just walking around and looking at new buildings and new designs and that kind of stuff all right Make sure that when you enter a new city that you're doing the free things first, okay? Make sure that every day you're counting how much money you have on you so that you can better manage your finances in the future, all right? That's the number one strategy. Manage your finances and you'll have a better life. Listen guys, I don't know about you, but the best thing you can do in life is do what you want to do. Many people, your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your friends, Outsiders are going to tell you to slow down. They're going to tell you to do what they want to do. Your mom is going to say, no, get this job because it's the best job for you. Listen, your parents may think that they have it all figured out, but that's complete bullshit because no one in life has it all figured out, especially your parents. And then they shame you for not having it thought out properly. But guess what? Not even your parents, not even your friends, not even your teachers or whoever you know in life has it figured out. Trust me and believe me. So do always what you want to do because that's the key to success. The key to success is loving yourself and going exactly where you thought you must be. Hello guys, just wanted to say that within your time here in the world, make sure that you're living life to the fullest. Make sure that you're going to visit these kind of churches even if you're not religious like me I'm not religious I'm just spiritual but it's nice always to see a building that's very old like this as it's a temple as it's something to be considered it's a building all right but the main thing is when you are giving a video like this or like of any kind and you stuff up and you really don't like the video make sure that you retake it because the second time around you're gonna get it correct okay Sometimes when you want to make a time limit on your video, maybe just realize first what you're going to talk about and then make sure to put it on the right platform that's right for you, okay? So this is a Catholic church behind me and it's very beautiful. Look at the design and loving life here in Melbourne.
the, sometimes the best thing that you can do in life is to make sure that you're documenting with your videos and also creating a playlist on YouTube where you can show the scenery to your kids or to people for example one day you might become someone in life and you create your own kind of playlist on YouTube saying oh you're at this place you're at that place but this is strictly for you and your family so if you go around Melbourne and you take scenes of Melbourne with a video camera to make sure that you're not fucking just putting it on a hard drive and storing it away but also storing it away on YouTube in a separate playlist without your face but you just have your voice in that video so you do a video of the scenes with your voice and then you post it on YouTube in a separate playlist I suggest everyone do this for your kids in the future and for yourself hello guys so the, here's the thing I learned about being in Melbourne at 4 o'clock in the morning now listen once you are you have gone out of your hostel throughout the whole day you're gonna be tired when you are coming back home so when you are riding your scooter home why be in your head for all right now it's completely normal to be in your head okay but look there is an there's, there's an even better idea why not read on the way home all right why not put an audiobook home while you drive your scooter for the next 30 minutes and you read on 3.5 times at least you get some reading in right because obviously you're tired okay but what you want to be doing is you want to be able to use emotional intelligence and IQ back and forth okay so guys make sure that you're reading every day especially when you're tired guys the best thing that you can do in life is have a portable charger on you at all times because when you are traveling like I am right now sometimes your phone's gonna die on you and it can actually ruin your day because it ruins my day when my phone dies and then I have to go all the way back to my hostel to recharge my phone or I have to go to a pub nearby to recharge and sit down and I have to have a portable charger on me at all times so that I can keep going on my road and so that I can keep making videos for you guys and so that I can always give value wherever I go it's always going to help to have a portable charger with you that can boost your phone for the next five hours or more so that you can keep doing your work because if your phone dies and you have no portable charger you're going to be very unhappy so be happy in life hello guys so currently in Richmond and there's one road that goes straight and there are basically restaurants and shops on either side of the road now what I've learned is when you're going city to city sometimes you have to go to the toilet sometimes you have to eat and sometimes you have to recharge your batteries not just energy but also your technology so what's the best place to go to recharge your energy and also your batteries for your technology and gadgets so you can enter the pub nearby in the local city and you can go and ask him for a socket inside that pub and you can also eat inside the pub and be warm inside winter but also you can eat and also be on social media at the same time so it's a nice way to get ahead in life sometimes the best thing to do when you want to take a photo of yourself with something in the background make sure that it's not a photo make sure that it's a video because do you know who this is this is Rod Laver the actual tennis player and this is his actual tombstone kind of like statue has got writing on here but seriously a video is much better because guess what I may not be able to take a photo by myself with Rod Laver but at least I can take a video and I can say hey I was here I was with Rod Laver all right this guy is the founder of Rod Laver Arena all right the, the arena is actually named after him because he's an Australian tennis legend and this is guys this is what you have to do sometimes when you cannot take a photo with something in the background make sure that you take a video make sure that your face is pointing with Rod Laver right there or whatever the background is and that's the way to always document something by yourself I always get this question I'm 14 years old I have no passion 
I don't know what to do in life. I have neg negative people around me. What can I do to move myself forward? And then I tell them, listen, kid, you're 14 years old. Get yourself on social media. Start branding your face. Start being a person of influence. Start giving a lot of value, giving a lot of content. Teach people what you have learned so far in life. Let people know your goals. Get up on social media and show your face to the world. Create a YouTube channel. Read every day one hour. Read every day on 3.5 times and read auditory books. One more tip that I can give you for all of you 14 year olds out there is make sure that you're grooming and make sure that you're looking always smart. Not casual, but look smart and classic. So one way that you can create your videos in a much better way is to have something like the Rod Laver Arena behind you, for example. Something that's really nice, something that's precise, something that's very sparkly inside your videos attracts the audience to be able to listen to you more. Another way you can make videos is you can walk. You can do a walking session on the go and you can be like, hey, I'm, I'm going to this place, you know, look, look, at, look at the Rod Laver Arena right here. Do you see it? That's the Rod Laver Arena. So you can, you can talk and give value while you're walking, right? That's another way. So that's two tips. Another way is to have a little microphone like this so the audience can actually hear you so the wind is not in the way in the videos. So those are three tips that I just gave you that you can use, that you can use for your videos in, in the future because having a wall in the back of you hey guys, is no the good. best way to shoot videos in life the best way is to have a background like the rod laver arena behind you all right to have some kind of scenery behind you because if you have a wall plastered at the back of your wheel at the back of your videos all the time it's fucking it's very boring so when you have at least something to look that way in the background or when you have a nice stadium behind you like this it shows your face it shows your persona it shows the person you are it shows a better view of the world so it's much better to create videos outside but also to have like a little microphone plastered to your videos like this it goes a long way to gaining more fans in the future and also, it adds a lot of value. Hello guys, so behind me you can see the rugby stadium. This is where Melbourne Storm play. This is where they play when I went to the Rialto Tower. And as you can see behind me, we have a city, but also we have a beautiful lights over here of all the cars. And look at the lights over here. This is how the rugby stadium in Melbourne looks like. And it shines bright at night and also there's like a little bridge that goes to the rugby stadium and behind me here we have the Melbourne arena as it says right here so guys I just wanted to teach you guys something that I learned about snapchat and that's that on snapchat when you're adding people lots of people are going to be adding you and also they're going to be wanting to talk to you and one that would also like to know why you why did you add them and all that kind of stuff so make sure that when you're adding 400 people on snapchat that you are prioritizing your time and making sure that your time is going elsewhere and not on replying to all these people all right why do you think famous people never reply to all these people that are messaging them because guess what if they were to reply to the whole world whole the whole day would be consumed with just replying to these people all right make sure that you're adding people on snapchat every single day today i added 400 people on snapchat all right so every day you can add 400 people on snapchat so make sure that you're walking around in areas right and wherever you're walking that's where the snapchat people you can add so the more you travel the more people you can add okay so make sure also that when people are messaging you that you are not that you are not wasting your time too much on those people because you don't even know them first of all and just make sure that they are looking at you okay that's the main idea because if you waste all of your time 
trying to reply to these people you are going to be upset because you are then going to ask where did your time go so make sure that in the future when you are adding people on Facebook when you're adding people on social media Instagram whatever it is okay make sure that you are prioritizing your time and make sure that you are doing the best things possible in your time because you only have 24 hours within the day to achieve a certain task and if you are spending and if you are investing your time in people who you don't even know okay and replying to them when you can be with your family or when you can be traveling then that's the worst investment never waste your time on people you don't even know all right make sure that you are giving value in your videos all the time because that's why and that's the only reason people follow you just because of the value you have nothing else they don't give a fuck about you they only give a fuck about what you know look how beautiful this is the rugby stadium's got the blue lights everything it's amazing i really suggest everyone come to melbourne to check it out because it's just amazing you guys are gonna love it hello guys so currently reporting from the melbourne olympic park and this is actually the map so it shows you 12 actually 14 areas around here where the melbourne arena is and also where the rod laver arena is actually it's actually the rod laver arena and behind me you have the mcg which is actually full of neon lights and look how beautiful it is it's actually holds 110,000 people which is the largest stadium in melbourne right now over here we got the trams going and behind me we have the melbourne arena as you can see guys i just wanted to say when you are traveling the world when you're traveling with a scooter make sure especially if you are vegan to be carrying a backpack around look no matter what you are eating these days you need a backpack on you everywhere that you go because sometimes you need to eat food on the go all right and what i've learned in my time here at melbourne is when i purchase food when i invest in food i make sure to invest in containers also so when i get oats like cereals i make sure to put the cereal from the from the bag into a plastic container because sometimes when i take out stuff from my bag the oats seem to pour into my bag and make my bag full of food all scattered all over the place inside my bag so what i do is i get plastic containers and i put barley grass inside my plastic containers i put vegetable stock powder inside my plastic containers like peanuts also and i make sure my lsa seeds are also inside plastic containers and then i throw out all the plastics and i just go on my way to wherever i want to go but I make sure that i always bring my food because i never eat at restaurants so my boot my bag is crucial to my survival and it also helps me to travel the world around especially in melbourne because all the restaurants here are very let's say expensive and it's very cost effective for you to eat on your own anyway because restaurant food is very yuck <coughs> oh that was a that was a goosebumps that was a that was a very intelligent way to do that and when you eat at restaurants for example it's no good because there's a lot of saturated fat there's a lot of fat and oils and trans fats and it's very bad the food that they make in restaurants so i always suggest to bring your own bag your own food all the time make sure that you're always shopping daily or you can shop even more for for say two three days or whatever but what i tend to do is i actually i invest my on my, with my food just per day so that i can keep more money on me and i actually the Woolworths is anyway close to me so the aldi as well this is where i shop because sometimes when you are investing in too much food you have less money for the week so make sure to invest in food per day make sure that you're investing food per day and that you are keeping more money on you in, in, instead of the bank because when you keep money in the bank it's actually not your money so when you can when you can see real money in your pocket that is when you can say that you have money so this is me at the mcg right here behind me and 
the Rod Laver Arena and also Melbourne Arena. Hello guys, so there was one guy who, back in the day, all he ate in life was potatoes and everyone made fun of him. But guess what, he made a break breakthrough for everyone in the world because he lasted one year on just potatoes. So imagine how many creatures of the world he saved. Well not saved, but how many he kept alive, right? So if worse comes to worse and the planet is about to explode and there's no food left, why don't you just go on potatoes for one year and save a whole bunch of creatures, actually keep a whole bunch of creatures alive so that's an, that's an amazing achievement because within that one year that guy managed to be even kinder than the world in one year because all he ate was potatoes while everyone else was eating vegetables and all the other food that was put into process by humans so to be able to just eat potatoes for one year is an amazing achievement because everyone else was eating meat, vegetables and spraying pesticides on the vegetables to kill even more animals but all he was eating was just potatoes so he was probably the kindest human alive for one year to be honest so that is an amazing achievement so if you can look to be kinder to the world around you through your eating habits then you can also be more spiritual and you can also be more energetic and have more focus and also have a better life because nutrition and diet is life what you put into your mouth what you put into your ears and what into what what you absorb around you is what you become listen guys no matter what in life you need a skura all right you need a push skura to get yourself around now listen if you are rich if you have a lot of money like if you're a millionaire all right if you are a millionaire then probably you can get around easier all right but for the rest of us who are not millionaires right now we have to be able to get around the city and explore a city in the fastest way possible so how do you do that you do that by having yourself one of these push scooters that you can get from Kmart for 60 bucks all right now you, you grab a scooter and you just go and explore right it's better than renting a bike at the local city all right you can take a scooter on with you on a plane on a bus okay pay extra for it but it's going to be the best investment of your life because you get to places faster you don't have to walk you don't have to run all you have to do is just push with your scooter and you get to enjoy the scenery so i suggest everyone do that because it's the best hello guys just wanted to make one thing perfectly clear is that when you're moving around and traveling the world you have to make sure that your nutrition is where you want it to be so if you are a person who is spent who is investing a lot of money into food and you're not cutting those capital investments to make your life better because a lot of people are investing in foods that are not necessarily good for them so they have to be able to cut the foods out of their life and only eat minimal food throughout the day that's gonna be the most nutritious and the, be the best for them as well as help them keep a lot more money all right so the whole point of traveling is to eat better and so you have more energy so make sure that you are researching nutrition to be able to have more energy in the future hey guys do you know how much my business has failed until now a thousand and more times and I just keep failing. Every time I do something that doesn't work, it's like a fail, right? But then it's not really a fail, it's just something that I see that didn't work. So it's a new result. Just like Thomas Edison, he tried 1,000 things that didn't work and he got 1,000 results. He didn't fail, he succeeded because now he knows what he must not do and that's the key to success it's about what not to do in life if you can accumulate a list of what not to do in life you you are going to be much more successful in the long run